Hi, I'm Rebecca M. Carroll, founding member of The Coaching Educator, and we are doing a long series on the FAFSA. We hope that this helps. We have several different ones popped up. Please go to the, one, the different presentations that will help you out the most. We have gone over dependent. If you are a dependent student filling out the FAFSA, we have an independent student filling out the FAFSA presentation, which is much shorter, less information, obviously. We have gone over what a student aid report is, which is just, it's called an SAR. We also have gone over corrections and how to make corrections on your FAFSA and what it looks like when you've made the corrections. And here is another little blip on correction history. So here you have your correction history, which they will be giving to you. So as you can see in the upper right hand corner, this particular student or demo is Ed. So it says, welcome Ed, and then it will show you your corrections that they've made. So, or corrections that need to be made. So Ed was missing signatures. So as you can see, it says your FAFSA's on hold because you don't have a signature. So they needed both. And this is something that happens quite a lot. So it's important for you to understand that it, the signature, you need to make sure that you will get a follow-up to in your email that says, congratulations, you, you're, you have filled out the FAFSA. Then you get a second one that says, your FAFSA has been processed successfully, or you will get something that says your FAFSA is on hold. And that's important for you to open it up and see what they're saying. Here you have the, as we have talked about, it is now on a phone. So here's your phone app and what it looks like. Um, and here, like I said, it says welcome. First and last name, and then you'll see the current application status processed successfully. So that's what I'm talking about, that congratulations on your FAFSA. You will always get a message like that if everything went well. So here we are as if it didn't go well and your it, it states right here, this person logged in and it's saying current application is not submitted. So they may have thought they had done everything, but what's happening is missing signatures. So they are asking you to provide signatures. You click on the button, it brings you right to the, the signature page. Here you have it on your phone, and here it is. So provide your signatures. I would encourage you to sign electronically. Of course, you cannot sign it electronically if you have not created your FAFSA ID and a FAFSA ID for your parent. You only need one parent signature. Even if it isn't a parent who is in your household, it's perfectly fine. So you'll click sign electronically, your parent will click sign electronically. And if you haven't understood or didn't quite know how to make a FAFSA ID, or maybe you didn't know your parent's social security number to make one, I'm gonna go over that in the next series. So here you have the signature page, they're asking you to identify which parent, and we already went over if it's parent number one or number two, you may have two parents information in your FAFSA, but you only need to create one FAFSA ID. So here we go for your parent. And we move forward there. Make sure that it's the correct social security number. You agree. There's a button at the end. You agree. And then you're putting in either the verified email address or the username of the parent. And we go to the next. Now you're going to the student, you agree, you put in your FAFSA username, your email, and then here it is, congratulations. And this is the page you will get if you have completely submitted your FAFSA. I know that sometimes we're rushing through or it was uh, difficult for us to fill it out. We weren't sure what we were doing, especially the first time. Don't panic, you're looking for the congratulations page that will come to you and it will also it'll be in front of you as soon as you finish it finish applying and or it will be in your email 
And there you have it. Current application status, it's processing. And here you go. This is what it looks like on your phone. And that's basically the end of what it, how you make corrections, especially if you are missing a signature.